I was saying to myself um, shortly before I started the program how that the world is changing rapidly and um, you know um, there's a scripture um, in in the Revelation where it said um, uh, one day I may look at it and said the man lifted up his hand into heaven I think it's Daniel he said that he swear let me just find that scripture because we're going into a, in a program right now and um, mm. I'm going to sing some but um, you know I just I'm never a person who uh, who is well at, I, mean, I'm never, I wasn't a person who believed that but especially now that so many times I, I know that God is leading me I can't just always stick to my program whatever he's showing me that's where I go he says um he said, um, uh, he said, um, and I heard Daniel, uh, it was Daniel 12, it says, and one, uh, then I, Daniel, verse 5, looked, and behold, there stood other two, the one on this side of the bank of the river, and the other on the other side of the bank of the river. And one said to the man clothed in linen, which was upon the waters of the river, how long shall it be to the end of these wonders? He asked him, how long? And then he said, and I heard the man clothed in linen, which was upon the waters of the river, when he held up his right hand and his left hand unto heaven. Right? And it was like this. And swear by him that liveth forever and ever, and it shall be for a time, times, and a half. And when he shall have accomplished to scatter the power of the holy people, all these things shall be fulfilled, be finished. Amen. And so he said, he, the scripture said, How long? And he, he lifted up his right hand and his left hand, and he said, He swear. And there is another one in Revelation where he said, He said, um, he said that there should be time no longer. He said, but in a, there should be time no longer. And I think that was what I really wanted. He said, he held, he said, there should be time no longer. But in the days of the, I look for it. But I think it was the seventh trumpet, something about trumpet or something. He said, the mystery of God should be, full, should be finished. Right? Yeah, what am I saying? What am I saying? Hold on one second. <laughs> what am I saying? Mm. Yeah. Anyway, when I said that, there should be time no longer. Time no longer. Then he said, I heard and I understood not. And then I said, Oh my Lord, what shall be the end of these things? And he said, Go thy way, Daniel, for the words are closed up and sealed to the time of the end. Many shall be purified and made white and tried, but the wicked shall do wickedly, and none of the wicked shall understand, but the wise shall understand. I hope you're understanding today, because the people who are wicked, they don't understand. Right? They don't understand. They just see like, well, they just try to just, you know, moving right along as the saying goes, you know, right? As a slogan, at least. It's not moving right along. It's not. God is warning us and God is showing us something. God is showing you something. You're bringing it right up in front of your face like that. And we better pay attention. Because if we don't, we won't have anyone to blame. We won't have anyone to blame. We won't have anyone to blame. Let me try to get my electric piano sound again. I I've been using it. Uh, I usually use this song when I'm when I'm playing um you know with amps and that kind of thing, a mixer. When you hear a bass it's heavy like like you're playing a bass, right? Really heavy. Thank you. 
Oh.
after the the the, the other one, the other one what we did last week is is um <coughs> me, it's more a choral than this one. You know, so but higher pitch and all of that, right? Okay. Bless the Lord, praise my soul, the King of Heaven, to his feet thy tribute bring. Alright, so now we're gonna pray and um have a soul on the guitar coming up up the world. Oh gracious our Father, mighty God, our gracious our the great Yahweh, do everything the cherubim, the Lord holds their name, you shine forth that they are for their glory. Let your glory rest upon us, your light shine out of us, be the exalted fab of the heavens. Be the exalted fab of the earth, be the exalted fab of the heavens, that thy glory be above the clouds. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory of heaven and might in the show me share the great to our Lord and our Lord, your Abba the great. El Shaddai, the great Yahweh, the great Elohim, the great Adonai, the great Hashem, the great, great Abba for our Lord and Savior, Yeshua, Meshima, the great to me said, sit on my right hand, tell me enemies, I put to the Lord, said the Lord, I strength of the Zion, the rule of the midst of enemies. Father, thank you for your goodness, your favor. As the song said, praise him for his grace and favor. To our fathers in distress, praise him still, the same forever. My Lord, hallelujah. It is still the same forever. Slow to child and swift to bless. Praise Him, my God. You are glorious in your faithfulness. Hallelujah. When Yahweh should I look at that way, Father, we thank you. Amen. Today, today we thank you, Father, that we're able to praise you. We thank you for this another gathering of our Father, even by electronic means in our Father. Today we thank you that we can unite in a spirit. Oh God, and uh, so we are waiting. We thank you that, Lord, you have promised us, amen, a kingdom to come. Not a virtual kingdom. No, no, none of these. Not a virtual kingdom. Not something with electronic means. But a real kingdom of a Father. Amen. And you taught us to pray. The Lord said, thy kingdom come. Thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. And for this we are looking, our Father. We thank you, our Father, even now. We see through a glass darkly, but then we'll be face to face. Bless us as we look into your word, my God, and give us understanding of the things that you want us to know of our Father. And, and, and that, as we talk about the joys, the eternal joys, that you stop that joy in us of our Father. Amen. As we reach forth for the, the day when the bridegroom shall come in glory, and we shall be changed of our Father, and we shall be able to go in with him into the wedding. So cause us to rise up before thee. Establish our going out and our coming and grant that the purpose of our lives accomplish in us for time and eternity, ever Father, and cover under the blood, show the great eternal land, cover under the mighty wings of the great turn in. And go before us the pillar of fire by night, pillar of come by day, ever Father. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ our Lord, Amen. Yeshua, Hamashiach, the great our Lord, Christo, Jesus. Amen. Adonai, our Father. Hallelujah! Amen, Abba Father. Thy the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen, amen, Jesus' name, amen, hallelujah. Amen, and that was beautiful, right? Yeah, my heart is really good, feeling good in Jesus, my Lord. Um, okay, I'm going to do another song here. This is, um, now this is Worthy the Lamb, but this is one I wrote, okay? And, um, Sung as I told you, sung by many people um, in church, but I don't know I have one who would. Uh, but um, that song is um, on is track two on this um, this CD, So Many Deliverances. And um, you don't hear much of my voice in it though, because my Jeremy, my son, and and um, his nieces. Um, we had uh, was Karen and was it I think was Esther Ann and and um, maybe was Joanna or Joel I think. Anyway, I couldn't really sing at the at their pitch, <laughs> <laughs> so you hardly hear my voice in it. But today I'm gonna sing it on my own. Since I wrote the song, of course I must get sing it right. <laughs> you know, I, I, when I'm you know, um, I usually have a guitar near to me when I'm, I'm sleeping. I, I've written a song in a while. Well, I still, no, no, no. 
I'm saying, I, I, that's what I used to do. I have a guitar right beside me, close by, or at least I can run and go fetch it, you know. So, and this song, where, where is it a lot? This is real.
I got a crush on this thing getting here with it's Sunday. Um, but, you know, thank God. He loved enough for me to be able to play this morning. Where is the lamb? Is this the lamb? Um, and I, my, I, I, um, I decided to play this song in G today. It's the best thing I could get, but I think when they sang it, they sang in C, but and I told when I went to Jamaica, um, it was about 2006, I think it was, somebody about that, left, maybe, I don't know, somewhere after that. And I was singing this song, and my, my niece at the time said, she said, oh, Uncle David, you know, we have a song in that book, I didn't know it was you wrote it, and I know why, and, the, and now I know it must be you who wrote the song because that bridge that I'd seen it written, but nobody knew what all that part was. <laughs> anyway, thank God, thank God. Words is a lamb. Words is a lamb. All right, so we have a lot of stuff here to talk about today. A lot of stuff. Because we're going to be talking about, we're talking about eternity, okay? And um, we're talking about joys. Now, you know, when we talk about joy, everybody has joy to some degree. And some people have joy when they see other people suffering. Um, that's, that's, what, that's what makes them feel good. You know, and sometimes you wonder, you say, that, how do people really have a, you say, no, you say they have no heart. Right? Man really, you know, 